the first annual Downtown Brockton Art and Music Festival was held successfully at Brockton's beautiful Salisbury Park. Artists, craft makers, cultural gypsies, and pirates gathered to share with the Brockton community a wealth of treasures. One North Main spoke to the man, the myth, the legend, cultural architect, Arnie Danielson. Today's event is Brockton's first arts and music festival. We called it Downtown Brockton's Arts and Music Festival or DBAM Fest 2011. We invited all of our friends the musicians, the artists, the local business people, we've all been lusting after some way to help rebuild and revitalize the town. And I think a party is a great way to do it. Bruce, a local downtown artist, came to give his support towards pushing the art pedal to the metal. My friend Arnie Danielson was putting it together and uh, some of the organizations asked me to help out and I was right here. I live right in the area downtown and I've been excited about it ever since I heard about it and I'm an artist myself so anything to do with art, downtown Brockton, I knew I'd be here to any way I could to help it. I think this is fabulous. I'm so pleased. I'm glad that the weather is holding off as uh, best it can. And um, I just think Arnie and all the volunteers did a fabulous job. This is a great use of this park. It's just perfect. The water is pretty clean. The water quality is great, but we get a lot of sediment coming in from the storm drains and people throw their trash in the storm drains and in the, in the streets and it all goes in the river. So um, the idea of our stream team is to educate people on how to protect the stream, make it a better place, and to get folks out and do some cleanup. A wine record, please. We grew up in New York. Yes, we were both stuck in each of our own dull suburbs of houses lined up like fluorescent lit cubicles. But I never let hipsters question the pride I feel in hailing from the same states where the Ramones, Blitzkrieg, Bobs, and Grandmaster Flash hammered home the message. Where Patti Smith sang of nights that belong to lovers in a town so nice Sinatra sang its name twice. I've been in town for 20 years, and I've watched the city wrestle for 20 years with how to revitalize its downtown. It seemed that one of the missing components was a legitimate cultural activity. Some place to go with your wife, with your husband, with your boyfriend, with your kids, you know, with your parents, and enjoy yourself, whether it's music or artwork or sculpture or performance, but to use this wonderful downtown. Beautiful parks, beautiful buildings, wonderful spaces, and the desire is to simply use them as well as we possibly can. I'm a caterer. I came from a long tradition of party planning. So the idea is you put the right people in the right places, you put the right supplies in the right places, you talk to the good Lord about the weather, you cross your fingers, and you come out and you put the show on. We refer to ourselves as cultural gypsies and pirates. It's like, no folks, come on, come out and play with us. Join us, come along, sing, listen, dance, bring your kids, have a smash time. This is just to say, I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious. So sweet and so cold. Uh, an event like this, how do, what does it do for the city? Well, first off, I think it brings people to downtown. 
it uh, shows some support for the, the downtown area, which is terrific, but it also provides residents with something to do, a minimal and affordable cost, which we know is important at this time uh, in the, with the economy, and it's just a, a great thing for the residents. Work on getting more people downtown, getting customers, getting businesses, get, get a gallery, you know, just keep building what we've already built on, keep building on what we, what we started here. More things like this, basically. We can rehab and revitalize this downtown and give this a certain stability. Property values all across the city will stabilize. People will once again be coming to the once and future great city of Brockton to conduct their business to enjoy themselves, to come out for things that matter to them, become what it was clearly intended to be. To get a bunch of artists together, get the craft people together, get the writers and the poets together, and uh, get some of the business people and the politicians, and get everybody talking. I think this is more, there's more to this than art and music. There's, I want all these people at the same table talking about what's going on in Brockton on a positive sense. And there's a lot of artists in Brockton. People think there's only a few and, you know, me and a few other people, but there's a lot of them right in downtown Brockton. We're all over the place. There is all kinds of venue around here. There are beautiful rooms. You could do poetry, you could do music, you could do magic, you could do juggling, you could do all kinds of things. And every single activity draws its own audience. All of a sudden, you've got a critical mass and everybody's going, can we dance, please? You drive me round in circles like a tin can tied to my tail. Quit you messing around my little dog, cause my big dog's got a bone. If you don't want my big dog, you leave my little dog alone. Hear me barking Monday morning in the driving rain. I'll lay down in your kennel, but I won't wear your chain. Thank you.